So what is a living will? A living will is a document that allows you to make end of life decisions. And what I mean by that is, is that uh, if unfortunately you are diagnosed by uh, physicians and you are in a vegetation or comatose state, uh, horrible words, but that's what it's called. Uh, and if you do not have any documentation stating what you want to happen to you for end of life decisions, then the burden really shifts to the family. And so from a state planning standpoint, we try to talk to you about uh, having a living will put in place so that those decisions you can make prior to that situation. Because again, you want to be able to remove the burden from the family. You don't want to put that burden on the family uh, to basically say, do we or do we not want to quote, unplug mom or quote, unplug dad, horrible terms, but that's what's used. And so if you're in a vegetation, comatose state, diagnosed by two physicians, one really should be your treating physician. They both say by medical evidence, he or she is likely not coming out that vegetation state or not coming out that comatose state. You are allowed to have a legal document stating what you want to happen to you from a feeding tube, uh, from actually respiratory, uh, respiratory um, machine, uh, intravenous fluids, things of that nature. So a living will just allows you to have those decisions predetermined by you uh, in a legal document. Uh, very touchy situation, uh, but it's very important from a state planning standpoint. Hope this helps.